Right now, there are over 10 different types of Google Ads campaigns that you can choose to promote your business. Now, before we get into that all important question of which is the best Google Ads campaign type for me, you need to understand that the answer to that question is going to be different dependent on the needs and the current situation of your business. And this includes variable factors, including the type of business that you run. Are you selling a product or a service? Is this your first ever Google Ads campaign? So you're starting off in a brand new Google Ads account, or what is the main action that you're wanting to drive? Are you wanting just to drive brand awareness or awareness about a new product that's coming up? Or are you wanting to increase the number of emails and phone calls your business gets or the amount of online sales that you get? To be clear, it's not just a simple one word answer that you should be using this type of Google Ads campaign. Now, just in case you're wondering what all those different types of campaigns are, let's quickly rattle them off. You've got Google Search, Google Shopping, Performance Max, Display, Video Campaigns, Hotel Campaigns, Smart Campaigns, App Campaigns. Then there's the new campaigns of Demand Gen and even Things To Do Campaigns. Plus, some people would even class Call Only Campaigns as a separate type of campaign. But for me, I class them as Search Campaigns. So you can see there is a wider range of choices that you can use in order to promote your business business or your product. Now of all those different campaigns that are just listed, three of those are very, very specific. And that would be the app campaigns. Obviously, as the name suggests, that's only going to be for people who want to promote extra downloads of their app or they want to drive extra engagement in their current apps. And hotel campaigns, as the name suggests, is specifically for hotel owners who are wanting to drive direct bookings in a similar way that e-commerce brand owners would want to drive extra product sales through a shopping campaign. And then the new things to do campaign is a new style of campaign that's focused on promoting different tourism activities, attractions and restaurants in any city. Now for smart campaigns and demand gen campaigns, now, especially for smart campaigns, this is not a campaign type that I really recommend. And the reason for that is because with a smart campaign, you're giving Google full control and you get very little data back. So with a smart campaign, you give Google your website, you may even give some different keyword suggestions and different ad copy suggestions let Google know where you want those ads to be targeted. And then from there, Google does the rest. But as I said, the main issue that I have with smart campaigns is that you just don't get any data and you don't have any optimization options available to you. And then when it comes to demand gen campaigns, which launched last year in 2023, unless you are a really large company that's spending over six figures a month and you have a lot of video assets, that's not really a campaign that I'd be recommending for you. So that then brings us to the last five campaigns, which are going to be a great starting point for you and your business when you use them in the right way. And that's what we're going to be going through in today's video. With those five campaigns being search, shopping, display, performance max, and video campaigns. Now, very soon, we're going to jump into a screen share so I can break down how those different campaigns work. But just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy, and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And right here is where I share with you all of the profitable strategies that I've built and tested in Google Ads since I started my first Google Ads campaign campaign way back in 2010. Now, because you're watching this video, you may be new to Google Ads. And if that is the case, I wanna help you by supercharging your Google Ads knowledge and also the results you're gonna be seeing in Google Ads with my Google Ads Starter Kit. Now, my Google Ads Starter Kit not only includes my How to Win a Google Ads Planner, which is a downloadable guide which walks you through how to create your own profitable Google Ads campaign, but it also includes my Google Ads Optimization Checklists, which lets you know all of the different optimizations actions that you need to complete in your Google Ads campaigns and it also lets you know how often you need to complete those actions. And if you want to get access to my Google Ads Starter Kit, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But right now, let's jump into a screen share so I can walk you through the differences between those five different campaigns that you want to be focusing on when you're starting Google Ads. As a reminder, these are the five campaigns that we're going to be going through. First one is your search campaigns, your shopping campaigns, your display campaigns, performance max, and then of course your video campaigns. And just as a really brief overview, these are how the different campaigns work. So your search campaigns show text-based ads on the search network. With your shopping campaigns, they show product-based ads that come from a product feed and they're shown on the shopping network. Now, if you're really new to Google Ads, if you've ever done a Google search for product and you see different product tiles with prices and product descriptions, they're your shopping ads. Then our display campaigns show image-based ads across the search, display, YouTube, and Google networks, and Gmail networks. And your performance max campaigns are one campaign which displays text, shopping, 
image and video ads across all of Google's marketing channels. So that's Google Search, Google Shopping, Google Maps, YouTube, Display, Discover campaigns, and also Gmail. And then your video campaigns show, surprise, surprise, video-based ads across YouTube and also the Display networks. But what I wanna go into now is I just wanna break down the different campaigns and some of the different options we have with these five types of campaigns. So with your search campaigns, now as we already discussed, you can read it across there, search show text ads, shopping show product ads, display show this image ads, performance max have that mixture of text, image, video, and also product ads and video campaigns, show those video ads. And now I wanna go into some of the different targeting options because this is where things do get quite different. So with your search campaigns, it's mainly run by targeting by keywords, whereas your shopping campaigns, the targeting is done through different product titles and descriptions. So you don't enter in keywords, it's, it actually comes from your different product titles and the descriptions descriptions that you've set up in either Shopify or WooCommerce or the Google Merchant Center directly. Now with your display campaigns, you mainly do your targeting via audiences and websites. So rather than choosing a selection of keywords, you're choosing a selection of audiences. As an example, for display campaign, a common way that people will use a display campaign is as a remarketing campaign. So they're adding in audiences of people who have visited their website before, and then they go through and target those users with image-based ads. Or what you could do is is you could put together a collection of industry-based websites and then Google builds out an audience of people who visits those websites. Now with Performance Max, there is targeting by keywords, audiences, and websites. However, one thing I do need to stress with your Performance Max campaign, you do not have as much control. So a way to think about it with Performance Max, you're just giving suggestions and Google is taking it from there. And with video campaigns, the targeting is done by demographics, interests, and also different data segments. So that could be your customer lists that you've uploaded into your Google Ads account. So just breaking that down a little bit. So what I wanna do is just really break down which ones are more specific and which ones are more broad. Now, when it comes to which campaigns do you have the most control over, that is definitely your search and shopping campaigns. And the reason for that is because you are able to add direct negative keywords into each of your search and shopping campaigns. So you can do something which is called a search term audit where you go through and review the search keywords that users use to trigger your ads. And if you see any, that are not relevant, you can then add them as negative keywords. Now with your display campaign, Google gets that from your audience. And as I said before, your display and video, Google uses your audience data. And remember what I said with Performance Max before, you don't get as much data. Now you do get the data, but you can't add in exact audiences that you don't want your ads to appear to. It's very much driven by Google's data. And if you can see, if Google feels that it can get more conversions, it starts to target those keywords and those audiences. Now, one thing you do need to keep in mind if you are running a business which has some different regulations around your ad copy, you are really gonna be stuck to either search or shopping campaigns. And the reason for that is because with search and shopping campaigns, you have control over your ad copy. Now, in a search campaign, you can change that directly within Google Ads because you can change your ad copy. But with a shopping campaign, if you wanted to change the ad copy or the product titles and descriptions that appear in the Google Shopping Network, you can do that directly in your product feed. Now, with display, you can go through and provide the images so you do have a greater level of control over there but with performance max it does come as an understanding that while you are providing ad copy and you can even restrict it that google will still go through and run its own testing so you don't have the same level of control in performance max as what you do in search now with video you do have control because you've got to provide the video and the ad copy so they're the different considerations you have to have when it comes to ad copy now when it comes to optimizations these are the things you do need to keep in mind once again search and shopping you get the most data because you get the data at the keyword level so you can add in those negative keywords. You can also, if you want to, exclude different audiences or only target certain audiences. Now in search campaign, you can also run ad copy tests, but in shopping, what you can also do is you can also update your product titles if you want to see some greater results. Now for display campaign, you can also do targeted campaigns, which is where you're selecting 10 or 20 audiences and you're saying to Google, I only want you to show my ads to people in these audiences, or you can also do an observation method which gives you the data on the audiences that you select, but Google does go beyond those audiences. And you can also have multiple ads in an individual ad group, so you can run different ad copy split tests. Like we said with Performance Max, there's limited optimizations. Now, later in this video, I'm gonna explain this further because Performance Max can be a powerful campaign, but you just need to make sure that it is in the right environment. And then with your video campaigns, you can also optimize by audiences. And what we mean by placements is that you can exclude certain 
certain YouTube channels or certain apps if you're not getting the results that you want. And you can also, once again, run those ad copy split tests. And then finally, this one's probably getting a little bit more advanced, but this just goes through some of the different bidding options. And with search, you've basically got a whole range of bidding options, but I've just included the main ones being your target impression share and also by your maximized conversions or maximized conversion value. With shopping, you can start with max clicks or a CPC target, and then you can go over to a maximized conversions value and even add in a target ROAS. With display, it's very much more by impressions, but you can also do a maximized conversions once you've got enough data. With performance max, it defaults as a maximized conversions or a maximized conversion value, and then you can also add in a target ROAS or a target CPA. And for video, you can do conversion-based bidding, but it is also done by cost per view and cost per millions impressions or CPM. Now that gives you a very general understanding of how each of the different types of campaigns work, what different optimization actions you have, and what control you have over the different ad copies and keyword targeting that you're using. But what I wanted to do now, just before we finish, is I wanted to just run you through a couple of different scenarios of which campaigns I would start with if I was in a certain situation. So firstly, if I was a service-based business and I was wanting to generate more inquiries, so phone or email inquiries, I would start with a search campaign. And the reason for why I would start with a search campaign is because as we said in that screen share, is that that gives you the most control over your ad copy and your keywords. But what it also does do is it also gives you the most data about which keywords are the most profitable for you and also which ad copies are the best performing ad copies for you. So when you start a search campaign, you wanna really be focusing on the keywords that are best performing and then the ad copy, which is the best performing ad copy for your business. And you will also have to focus on doing some split tests on your landing page to find out which landing page works best and drives those inquiries for your business. And then what I would also say that if you are wanting to generate some phone calls around some really targeted locations, so let's just say, for example, you are a service-based provider, so you might be a plumber or an electrician, You've got a ring of about five or 10 kilometers that you really wanna focus on, and you can do a call-only campaign in that five or 10 kilometer ring, and then you might have a more broader search campaign which goes out further, but you don't wanna be really targeting on phone calls for those areas. That's more where you want some maybe some online quote requests where you can really pre-qualify people to make sure whether it's worthwhile of driving that extra distance. So that's one way that I would structure that campaign. And then after you've run those search campaigns for three or four months or even longer, and if you built up some really specific audiences like your website visitors audiences to above a thousand, that would be a perfect time to introduce a remarketing display campaign where you're looking at remarketing and retargeting ads to people who have visited your website but they haven't yet converted yet. And then finally, when it comes to Performance Max, while Performance Max can be a really powerful campaign type for a service-based business, you do need to tread with caution because if it's not set up in the right environment, it can generate a lot of low quality leads. So to offset that, what I generally do when it comes to service-based businesses and Performance Max campaigns, I firstly wait until we're either seeing two things. So we're seeing our search campaign get a bit of a stagnation in results. So, you know, we might have our search impression share up to, you know, 65, 70%, and we may have driven down our cost per conversion as low as we can get it. And we're looking at introducing some new audiences. And what we wanna make sure there is that we've got a lot of conversion data. Now, you hear me say time and time again that you wanna have at least 30 conversions in 30 days. But really for a service-based business, I would even be wanting to see, you know, three to four months of, you know, 30 conversions in 30 days happening month after month. The reason for that is because the more data you can give Google, it's more likely that you're gonna be seeing better results with Performance Max. Even if we are in a campaign which is getting a lot of conversions, I generally still wait until we start to see a drop in our clicks and impressions with our high performing search campaigns. Now, this is a trend that you can see from time to time where you could have a well-established search campaign that is performing really well, and then over a period of three or four weeks, you just see your results tank, and it's really coming off the back of a drop in clicks. And a main reason for why this happens is if you do get some larger spenders or you get other competitors who are using a lot of Performance Max campaigns, what is actually happening 
is your search campaigns are getting outbid by a Performance Max campaign. So that is a time where we've then introduced a Performance Max campaign and it's really helped the performance of both the search campaign and then it's obviously also boosted our total results through the extra leads in a Performance Max campaign. So that's an example of how you could start with a service-based business. Now, if you're an e-commerce business owner, I would definitely start with a collection of search and shopping. Similar to what I said about a service-based business, the reason why you wanna start with search and shopping is because that's gonna give you the most data inputs and also the most optimization actions. So you can really look at the data to really see what is either driving up or pulling back performance for your e-commerce brand. But what I do do with my search and my shopping campaigns for an e-commerce brand is I create ad groups based around different product categories. And then when we see some high performing product categories, that's when we'll generally build them out into their own Performance Max campaigns. Thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young. It's been my absolute pleasure having you here. And remember, if you wanna get access to my Google Ads Starter Kit, make sure you follow that link in the description below. And if you'd like to find more about how you can use Google Ads call only campaigns, I want you to go through it and watch this video right here. Or if you'd like to see some further details about whether you should use Shopping or Performance Max campaign as an e-commerce brand owner, go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. See you next time.